we're gonna tag the ninja on one of them things and be like yo boy that has- <laughs> we need a little competition going on there you know what I mean? we go all right i'm on with chris from financial fitness what's going on man not much brother yeah so you got the drink likewise good, good to see you dude. Boy, good to see you brother <laughs> This is my, my favorite way to talk about fitness, you know, is to start off by drinking drinking alcohol. So, yeah. all right. So, so the ninja got me on this economic ninja for you guys that are following the channel. A lot of, there's some correlation or overlap. So you guys may be familiar with our buddy, the economic ninja. And he's on this thing about, he wants to get in shape. You know what I mean? He really, really wants to get in shape. And I've been watching some of my videos, building a house, doing all these other things. And I've given myself this, this nice excuse because when you're doing construction, you're like, ah, you know, we're going to grab a pizza today. We're going to pick up some beers because we're working late on the house, you know, except, oh, we're not going to go to the gym, et cetera, et cetera. I'm watching some of my videos and I'm like, I, I got, I got some bitch titch going on. You know what I mean? Like, like CS Lewis would say like men without chests. And I'm like, yeah, I got to get back to like crushing it. So my, my, my goal with Chris this evening is to put together a plan and then we're going to evaluate this plan and see how it goes. I'm going to, I'm going to do, I'm going to do what the ninja's not going to do. I'm going to do, I'm going to, I'm going to go shirtless, bro. We're going to do some shirtless videos later. See, I'm, I'm for real. We're let's do this transformation thing. You know what I mean? You're in luck. You're in luck because muscle memory is awesome. It's yeah. unbelievable for you guys that have been, that have worked out before you did a little bit in high school, you're going to notice a difference in three weeks because you're going to feel, you're going to be sore as hell for two weeks. Yeah. And then three weeks you're going to get better. And then four weeks, you're going to be like, I work out. You're going to be, you can walk around. (laughs) It's nuts. Muscle memory is crazy. Well, that's one thing there too. Why, why I want to get to where I'm at. Cause I'm 32, about to be 33. I'm closer to 33 than 32, right? I got my Jesus year coming up. I got a pass. You know, I got to cross this Rubicon. You guys that don't know, Jesus didn't go. He didn't get to 34. I got to get past my Jesus year, right? Also, as dudes, I understand that there's like this peak level, and I'd rather decline from a peak than, uh, you know, kind of like slack on through my peak and then get into my 40s and be like, oh, I'm trying. You know, I'd rather just like get to that peak and be able to roll my 40s and 50s and 60s. Like I'm planning this out, you know? Like, I'm not just planning, like, my economic life. I'm planning, like, I want to I be healthy moving forward here. Hey, you don't want to be the richest man in the graveyard. No, no, no. And I don't want to yeah. be that fat, that fat dude in the uh, the red BMW with the hottie. You, you see this guy all the time at traffic, like, all the time. I don't want to be that guy. That's the that's the hangout. That's, you know, some people have are really good at finances. Some people are really good at fitness. And you've got to you've got to merge the two, or you can't enjoy the two. Yeah, for sure. And so, my theory: most people start out up here, and then they get to their 25, 30, 35, and they get down here to forty and forty-five, and they get diabetes, and then they just kind of they kind of creep, and then they warm, and they kind of get through life, and they die. Yeah, my theory is you start. Out, you hit it hard you work out you eat right you get your metabolism up and you just and then you die you enjoy life to its fullest and then you're out yeah, 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 None yeah. Of this, i'm cutting my toe off or you know this stuff that we that can be avoided this stuff can be avoided people i had a guy tell me the other day that everybody's gonna have he said his doctor told him that everybody's gonna have diabetes before they're dead <laughs> that's the kind of crap that people are telling people it's that is not true if you don't eat processed carbs and sugar you will not have diabetes unless you have some kind of medical you know there is different types but the majority of people will not have diabetes if you know they they eat a decent diet it doesn't even have to be strict i'm not strict I, i'm doing the joe biden diet you know the forced fasting <laughs> <laughs> It's winter time. Oh you know. man, yeah, yeah. Well, that's that's what the, and one thing too that that I would say for the guys watching, because a lot of my guys are exterior contractors, bobcat tractor type of guys, land clearing stuff. I thought it would be relatively easy to uh, to run machines all day and then go to the gym. Turns out, no, it's oh. not. You get beat running machines all day. You got to go to the gym first. 
But here's the thing is I see the old dudes that have been like running trucks and machines. They're like 55, 60, not even that old, but they're all beat up. And I'm like, how's this guy that busted? Like these guys got bodies like at 62. They look like they're 80. You know what I mean? Like they've been getting nailed in some and they've been running machines and not even, these aren't even laborers. And so I'm like, I can't have that. I can't, I can't have that. I ain't gonna that's have lifestyle. That. A lot of that's lifestyle. And I get it, dude. I didn't get it till I lived it. You know, like I finally got into machines. I was labor, 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 doing lawn care. So I'm running around all the time. Weed whackers is that I look great. You know what I mean? Like really, really great. Finally got to a level of wealth where buy a Bobcat and get another Bobcat, get some more trucks. Now you're in the truck all day. You're in the Bobcat all day. You would think, that it's easy, but it's really not. You're bouncing around and, and whatnot. This isn't my strong suit, but it, I understand that if what gets measured gets managed, you can't manage what you can't measure. Period. Yeah. But here, that level, well, I got to back it up because a lot of people are talking about measuring. Yeah. Freak out and they just want to quit immediately. They're like, nope, I'm out. I, I guess my measuring is pretty easy. Like, did I go to the gym? Yeah. I, but yeah. Logging that logging that stuff all the time what you eat what you live it's it's over it's over done what you can do is just do it for a couple of weeks all you have to do is log for a couple of weeks and you'll kind of know where you're at and then later on log a little more you know yep your regimen is going to depend on your lifestyle your see i'm not an early morning guy i, I mean i am i get up and i'm i'm early but forever my job has me leaving here at five or five thirty. It's really hard for me to work out at three thirty. Yeah, yeah, that's not you're not, you're not Jocko willing. I get it. I be there, and I'm an hour, an hour and a half away. So it really never worked out for me to be an early morning person. Yeah. yeah. So that's where the rubber kind of hit the road for me. And when I'm working a lot, I usually just stick to weekends. A lot of people take weekends off, but when you get into this, when when you start feeling those endorphins when you work out. It's hard at first. It's really hard to break through that pussy. You've got a little bitch inside of you is telling you not to work out, not to get up early, just to do everything you want to do and eat donuts and be a lazy ass. Yeah, you, once sure. you get through that little punk, there's a solid person in there that'll do right. And we all fight it. I fight it every day. We all have this little punk inside of us. And <clears throat> that's so when you get home from work and you're tired. I just want to go sit on the couch and eat bonbons. And watch <laughs> you got to say no to that little punk and go do your deadlifts. Yep. And it's not very often. It's only three days a week. It's really not that hard. You All just right. have to. All that's right. that's, that's so the. That's so the we're going on the financial fitness plan. We're going three days, three days working out. And we're talking working out to you is like, we're going to lift, right? Well, wait a minute. Wait a minute. All right. So if you can do four, I was talking about hard weeks. Okay. All right. Yeah, yeah. I'm writing all this down. Super hard weeks. Two's good. That's what I'm saying. This is a lifestyle thing. There's no set. There's no set. You can yeah. take a whole week off and jump on it the next week. Yeah. There's no set schedule. You're shooting for four. If you get three, that's good. If you're two, you're okay. Gotcha. One is almost unacceptable, but it will maintain. Okay, good to know. Maybe on a travel week or a conference week or something yeah. like that is what it is. Yeah. yeah. And when you start it, you're going to realize, hey, I like the way this makes me feel and look. Because when you go to the gym and lift heavy weights, all the glycogen in your body rushes to your muscles and muscles and veins start popping out everywhere. It's just like being that, you know, the ninja is a buddy of ours. I, I got to beat him. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, like I'm, I'm going to be looking good when we roll into like that July 4th weekend. Like, I, you know. That's just like the ninja's a guy where like he's just intense, 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 like gazelle intensity. Like nobody works like that guy. Nobody. Like I think I work hard, and then he like his work level is like holy, holy crap. But like when it comes to fitness and diet, that's one thing that's like a personal. We all got like a personal demon, like that little bitch inside of us. No matter how good we are at our work life or our business life or anything like that, it's like when it comes to working out and you're tired and you got an excuse. It's like I th I just want to crush it. You know, so we got to put together like, so, so three to two, three to four days ideal. And then what are we doing? What are we doing as far as a good routine? Let's say we're going to allocate an hour because the hour is pretty reasonable. I mean, you probably get it done a little bit less than an hour, but let's just say we're going to block out from 6 a.m. to 7 a.m. to get this done. 
you've got an hour of your day to get changed, shoes, whatever, get in the gym, work out, and be done. Not go to the gym, work out for an hour, and then drive home. So you really got to figure that out on your own. It only takes about 30 or 40 minutes for me, but I've got my gym at my house. Yeah. You know, that, I'm going to do that too, just for travel reasons. because We're out more in the boonies. What's that? Kettlebells. Really? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm sure. I'm sure they're good for you. Those uh, yeah. natural movements are wonderful. Yeah. I feel good doing them. You know, you'll look cardio, you'll lift in there. All right. So we got, so, so we'll figure out what, what that's going to be like, like, give me like a basic routine for the audience. Like, okay, what can we do? I, one thing I've been thinking through is like, I could do a hundred pushups every day, regardless in sets of 20 easy, easy. Yeah. Well, what I would encourage everybody to do is stop doing cardio. Mm. Don't even think about it. All you have to do first thing is go to the store and buy some decent food. Download your LifeSum app on your phone. Okay. Log your food because you cannot outrun your fork. You cannot outlift your fork. <laughs> you, you, that's just impossible. If you're eating too many calories, see, that's the, that's the, you have to hit that first yeah. because you eat too many calories and you're lifting, you're going to look bigger. You know, and it goes for women and men and you women thinking you're going to look bulky, that's crap. Don't think that. Don't think you're going to look bad you're it takes a lot of work and steroids to make a woman look bulky oh i love that i love that excuse like i don't want to lift because I'll, I'll look bulky <laughs> wouldn't that be a great problem <laughs> yeah. <That's> a, <laughs> women like to jump around women like to do zumba and they, woo, they like to do that you don't need to do that you need to lift heavy weights mm -hmm. heavy weights is how you burn food that's how you burn calories when you pick something up off the floor your muscles are stimulated you're stimulating your central nervous system you're stimulating all these things that are like hey i've got to make i've got to do i've got to have bone density i've got to have tendon strength and i've got to have muscle mass now burn the calories do not store them and when you figure that out i say that and nobody's going to really pick up on it but that is the most important thing i've learned about it is when you pick up heavy weights more than your body has ever felt before or more than it has in a long time it's going to send nerve. It's going to send signals to your central nervous system, and when you hit it, when you when you tap your central nervous system, you're going to know it because you're going to feel kind of you're going to feel kind of I don't I feel kind of weird. It's a different feeling. Your body's trying to adjust, saying, "Holy crap, this guy's trying to kill me. Give me some calories so I can so I can mitigate this." You know, it's really it's just like that, and you're going to notice it when you start doing heavy deadlifts, heavy squats, you know, heavy chest press. Only, and when I say heavy, heavy for you, whatever your body can take, you know, what, and that's up to you with perfect form. I don't want to leave that out either. It's not about the weight. I get, I get carried away. It's, it, it is about weight, what you can do with perfect, I mean, perfect form. I mean, get stupid with it because it, it's, it's when you come down, touch your chest and push up slow steady wins the race that's the only way to look at it. if you try to get ahead of yourself because you want to look strong in the gym you're going to get hurt and then you're going to go backwards and then you're going to quit and you're going to start eating bad because it, oh, it's like a you've got to get this thing going you know you've got to, and the best way to get it going is to just walk by the gym and buy some good food and then the next day do a couple push-ups and then all of a sudden you're eating good food and doing push-ups <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah you're halfway there yeah you're halfway there yeah all right so let's go over the food so so workout wise because we're we're getting like into the video here so we're workout wise we're doing three to four days we can we can discuss in, in further detail in a, in a different video as far as like what type of exercise we're doing obviously deadlifts obviously we're just working the muscle groups right because we're just trying to build habit is that right you want to plan yeah, let's put the let's put together the juice here for the guys that are that are uh, this deep into the video. You guys hang with us for a second. We'll get put together the juice. Look, here's the deal. I'm gonna spank the ninja's ass in 22. I'm gonna spank it up and down, this way, that way, all day, right? And then when we when we when we meet up and stuff, because you know how guys are. I want to encourage them, but the best way to encourage a guy, talk shit. That's the best way. When I know that men like me right? And they love me, right? Is because they talk shit to me. If people aren't talking shit to me, they're like women they're like, oh, you look so nice in that. 
oh yeah oh where they don't say anything right but if a dude walks by he's like hey bro you look fat bro you got bitch tits going on you're like you know what that guy likes me respects me that's good he's right he's not wrong you know what i mean so I'm serious you can copy and paste what i do i turn it on and i turn it off all right let's so. go let's go with it so so start me out food and exercise like just walk me through my week monday morning 6 a.m what are we doing oh man okay 6 a.m you get up and you scramble i don't know i don't know your i don't know what your body needs this is what my yeah. body needs yeah tell me yours i get the eight ounce or the the little egg white the little jug of egg whites okay half it's five okay. egg, five it's supposed to be five five egg whites five egg whites okay two eggs. Five egg whites, two eggs. Okay. And 100 grams of oatmeal, however you like it. All right. I prefer uncooked. Doesn't matter. No. I like Un uncooked, dude. I got videos on doing them raw. I love them raw. I've got, yeah, go look at my videos. I've got all of them. The yeah. raw make me feel fuller longer. The trick is to eat as many calories as possible that are good calories that are not going to push you over the so we're going to get here. We're going to get here on a bunch of calories. So you're not miserable. The trick's to feel full the mm -hmm. whole time. So <clears throat> that's breakfast is egg, oats. And it's really important to use that life sum app. <clears throat> okay. Log your food because you're not going to know. Yeah, you're not going to. You, can't, gonna man you can't manage what you can't measure. You got to log the food. Probably. Yes. Yeah. You know, I'm a welder. I measure everything. And if I don't measure it, it's wrong. Yeah. It's the same way with the diet. You cannot build a masterpiece without measuring. Yeah. So measure your food, weigh your food in grams. If you get used to weighing in grams, you'll start to, you'll know 100, 100 grams of oatmeal is two cups. Okay. You know, or two half cups. It's two half cups. One cup, one cup's 100 grams. Okay. So that's why I'm saying measure that really measure the things that matter and watch condiments you don't have to watch them if you measure them just to put everything you put in your mouth put on that calculator because there's one thing you're going to eat that's going to put you over and you're going to be like oh shit i didn't know you know i didn't know i was overeating every day that's yeah. how you look like you walk in the door and you put a marble in the jar or you take a marble out there's you know it's a daily gradual thing you didn't get fat overnight you're not going to lose it overnight you have to take a little bit out of time because if you do a crash diet it will repeat now i can move on to lunch are you going to talk well no i mean do you do you, do you prefer working out fasted or 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 fed no some, uh, some I, people I, like to work out first and then eat i only fast as a tool I, if i don't eat i don't have a good workout Okay, that's fair. A lot of people are different than me. Do whatever you want. Okay, all right, all right. So, so let, let's say we get up, we have breakfast, we do a workout, we come up, we get clean, we go to work. Now we're at lunch. So this is like where the real, real work happens, right? You're doing life. Now you got to eat right. Well, your lunch started the day before. Okay, yeah, ah, yeah. <laughs> pack the food, meal prep. Usually for me is. You know, when I got in shape, I was working five days a week, 10 hours a day, driving an hour and a half both ways, hour, hour and a half. So I had to cook about six chicken breasts yeah. on the grill. I would, I would go ahead and cut them up in like fajita strips after I cooked them. Uh -huh. Get a digital thermometer, you know, make it good. Don't, and do not pack your lunches all at once. Okay. Don't do that. Okay. Put it all in a, a, a container. Cook them perfect. Spend the time. Whatever you got to do. Find out what seasonal like. Make the make it good. Don't. It's not hard to eat right if it tastes good. Put it in a big container. Get up in the morning. I would. It depends on what your calories are. You're gonna have to go through the life sum. I can't just tell you what to eat because what works okay. for me is probably not gonna work for you. But whatever okay. protein you eat, chicken is an easy way to get it. Uh, tuna. You're gonna you're gonna need a little more fat. It's a very important to eat enough calories. It's so important. You want to be right. You want to be this far from what you need because you can only lose this much fat. Okay. You don't want to make too big of a jump because your metabolism is going to change. If you go from here to here, your metabolism is going to change. You're not going to be losing more weight. You're yeah. going to have to go to here. Yeah. You want to go from here to here. 
and then later go to here. And then a year later, before summer, go to here. Mm -hmm. And then you're this many calories through summer. And then the winter time, you can eat this many. It's, okay. it's not hard. It's just hard to kind of get there. And once you get there, mm -hmm. it's important to stay there. Really stay there. And just get there one time. See if you like being ripped. See if it's worth it. See if, mm -hmm. I mean, really get ripped. Get some abs. See what your wife likes. You know, just do it one time. Just, just say, I got ripped one time. Nobody can say that. Very few people. It's so true. It's so true. That's actually one of my reasons for, for chatting with you. I was like, dude, if I don't do this now, it's going to get harder every year. You know what I mean? Like you're 32. It's like, it should be easy as, as shit because I've done this before. I haven't been Jack Jack, but I've, I've done this before. But it's been a while and that's the oldest I've ever been. It's the fattest I've ever been, the oldest I've ever been. But I still got time. So I'm like, let's do this. Yeah, All that's right. so cool. That's so cool. I was the same way. I was 32 when I started. You got, I mean, yeah, well, that's good. All right, so we're at lunch, right? So we're eating chicken. What What should our calorie total like for the day? Like, what are we What are we looking for? And that's so personal. It's up on you, right? So it depends yeah, on. It, for you guys that are listening, you have to get some type of baseline. You got to kind of figure out where you're at. Okay. So, the important thing is to put in what you're eating first. Don't even doubt for the first day. This is a long journey. I mean, we are going on a thousand mile journey. Start the first mile, figuring out what it takes. You know what I'm saying? Don't just jump into something stupid. Right. Log food, whatever you're eating, be honest with yourself. Nobody cares. Nobody gives a shit about what your body looks like, but you. So be honest put in the Cokes and the ice cream and all the bread, just go ahead and put Sonic in there. It's got ways to put it in there because if your diet, if your diet's 5,000 calories, you need to go to 4,000, 4,500. You don't need to cut down the chicken and broccoli just yet because you're, if you're maintaining a decent weight, with this many calories, you need to go here. So everybody's really personal. If you cut too many calories at one time, you will fail 100% of the time. Yep. No doubt. Yeah, so I heard, really I heard you talk about one of our buddies doing that. It's cutting too many calories too fast. And I was like, I'm going to be able to beat him. Can't beat a lot of people in a lot of things, but I think I can do this. Just listen to Chris. Well, you'll beat him as in you'll get there at a comfortable pace. You know, yeah, yeah, yeah. You don't have to eat watermelon and no carbs or some shit like that. Yeah, you don't have to do something crazy and that it doesn't stick. Cause it's all about keeping it stick. Cause I like to live life too. Like I like to drink. Like I like to, I like, I eat, I like to eat chips. <laughs> Like That's what it's that. about. And how you get there is how you have to stay. Yeah. Yeah. Remember, that's the most important thing. However, you arrive is how you have to stay. So All if right. you don't eat carbs for the rest of your life, then don't eat carbs. We're getting the Life Sum app to track our food. That's kind of the number one thing we're doing here in like this first 30 day period. So we're tracking our food and we're trying to go from like what, what our what we could call our 100% baseline, we're trying to go down to like a 95% baseline. Normally, it's 200 calories. Find out what about where. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yep. That makes sense. And if anybody wants to, to contact me or what, I don't, I'll help anybody. Yep. But you need to find out where you're at, where you're maintaining, what, whatever that is, whatever you okay. think that cut. If you're doing 4,000, go to 3,500. But don't don't go crazy. If you're doing 5,000, you know, go to 4,000. You know, and you can cut a little bit in first. Yeah, yeah. Stay two weeks. If you lose one pound, chill. Yeah. That you, you've done something. Because the next week, you might lose a little more. You might yeah. not lose much. And then the next week, you can say, hey, I didn't lose quite a pound. And you're not cutting anything out, but besides some Cokes or something or you know yeah, you're barely making any moves yeah right but now here's the thing if you're if you're going to start working out if you're going to start lifting weights your body's going to start eating calories yeah it's going to really really starting my dad called me he's 63 uh, he's doing deadlifts he's he's picking up 285 pounds on his deadlifts and uh he's a beast i mean he's been working out since he's 14 that's what i that's how i kind of learned and uh he, and my mom said, yeah, he's eating chips and all this bunch of junk. It's like, well, he's hungry. His body is annihilating that stuff. 
when you lift heavy weights, your body kills cow. It just, it needs, it. it has to have it to grow everything it needs, you know? So yeah. just know lifting weights is burning the fuel you're consuming. If you don't lift weights, you're not burning the fuel you're consuming. So you truckers and you guys that are sitting in equipment all day, you have got to do something to burn those calories or you're going to be miserable eating less. Mm. Is that? Yeah, that totally makes sense. That totally makes sense. And this is really basic, simple framework. I mean, just to recap on the easiest, you know, to get going type of deal. It's like logging what we're eating and then making a habit of going to the gym, even if it's walking by the gym to pick up better food. I mean, we're just making a habit. And, and I mean, that's really what we're doing. Am I getting that right? So the first. Yeah. I mean, yes. Yeah. The right? first week. I mean, yeah. The first week getting prepared and seeing where you're at. Yeah. Okay. And if you make a big jump, make a 500 calorie down jump. Okay. If you make a big jump, max 500 calories down from where you're currently at. Because I don't even know where I'm currently at. I don't track what I eat. I can tell you what I had today, but I didn't track it. I'm just going to warn everybody. It's going to be a supreme pain in the ass to track everything it puts in your mouth. But you don't have to do it forever. You just have to know where you're at. Yep. Yeah. Where you're at. at. And, and go from there and you'll see a little bit before we get off this video i have to encourage people to take fat pictures you have got to take fat pictures it will give you the motivation because your weight is not going to change if you start lifting weights and dieting at the same time you're going to gain muscle and you're going to lose weight and you're going to recomp that's what i did i recomped mm -hmm. my weight went i lost like 10 pounds but i went from fat to rip right yeah, that makes, I mean, that totally makes sense. I mean, yeah, for the longest time, I could never get past 160. I remember my dad was 164, 165, right? The longest time I could never get past like that 160 mark. Then eventually I got to like that 164, 165. I'm shorter than my dad. So I was like, oh, I'll weigh what dad does. Didn't weigh myself for years. It's that I'm like at 200 right now, right? I'm at like 200. Didn't really, I mean, like it didn't, didn't change a whole lot. Look at some photos and things like that. I'm like, okay, I'm bigger, right? Not fat, right? I'm just, I'm bigger, bulkier bulkier right but i'm like okay this is cool because this i could never do that you know like in your high school college all the guys are like yo man we're gonna get like big and then we're gonna lift heavy and then we're gonna shred and you're like i can't get big like i can eat with you guys all day but i just can't get big now this i don't know i started drinking beer and things like that then i was like hey here i am finally got big <laughs> yeah the whole uh, i could dismiss that later if this video is getting too long we, sh we should really talk about bulking and cutting one day Bulking the cutting. Well, when I get there, all right. <laughs> right now, I gotta start. You know, get back into it, it. There is no bulk. Don't you can you can gain just as much muscle in a recomp as you can bulk. There's that's nonsense. We'll that's roll down that that, yeah. that in a secondary or you know probably down as we go because I'm I'm planning on tracking this. Like make a little playlist and just be like fat trav, less fat trav. You know more jack trav. I want to get there. Yeah, sure. And you're gonna get there fast. Uh, just. When when are you gonna? Are you starting now or tomorrow? I won't be in it. You know what I mean? Absolutely. Just so, look, this is something you can get there one time. Whenever you're, you know, after the holidays is the best time to start a diet. But if you'll start lifting now, you'll be ready. You'll be way more ready to lose right. fat. Yeah. Yeah. So you're done. All right. I'm gonna eat whatever I want. Yeah. I've been on the Joe Biden diet. <laughs> I've been, I'm telling you. I, I have been, I, I'm not, I'm not calculating anything. I'm not watching that, I'm eating whatever I want, but I'm noticing it's coming on fast. I mean, it is coming fast. I'm getting <laughs> all over me, but it's okay because after Christmas, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to keep lifting. I haven't listened in a while. I've had a little injury under my arm. Uh, been letting heal up for about and For you guys watching, Chris has a ton of videos on his channel. Chris is jacked. He's like a six, what are you, like six, three, six, four? Six, but two. He's such a giant man and he shredded as hell. Like, I mean, not maybe not at the current moment, but like I know what you're talking about with the muscle memory, where it's like if you wanted to get in fighting shape, you would be there in a month. Yeah, that's where you, you want to be 12 weeks out. Okay. So don't let yourself get past, you know, and your abs 12, 12 weeks to your peak. Yeah. So just kind of hang out there and you can have a lot of fun there. Yeah. It's a Boost your metabolism, enjoy life, eat Christmas dinner and Thanksgiving and pie and just go nuts. Yeah. But yeah. you'll start to creep on. But the 
here's the best thing, the biggest ticket is to have a muscle. I, muscle burns like 10 calories per pound. So you gain 10 pounds, you can burn 100. Yeah. You know, when you activate that muscle, it burns the fuel. And it's not hard because most of it, most of us had it at one time, you know. Yep. The people I, that, don't, that, that don't go anywhere, the people I can't do anything with are the people that don't have any muscle at all. So it's so important yeah. to start yeah. lifting the weights. And yeah. It is so true, dude. I've seen people do this, that exact same thing where they're like, oh, I'm going to eat what I'm going to eat, but I'm just going to put on some muscle and they shred like that. And a chick in college tell me that like one of the best looking females you'd ever met. Right. And you're like, so what, you know, what do you, what do you work out all the time? You must eat nothing. Right. She's like, no, no, no. The key is dude lift heavy and put on muscle. It's a chick that told me this look, lift heavy and put on muscle, eat whatever the hell you want. And I was like, it works. Cause I, hey, I've, it. yeah, I, I've, I've interviewed uh, when I hadn't interviewed them. I tried to models, uh, little little petite girls that are getting ready for competition stuff they're lifting heavy weights and they're eating the same as me that's key dude it's, it's <laughs> it's like, it's <laughs> yeah. yeah yeah i mean richard cooper says that on his channel the uh uh he just wrote a book the unplugged alpha entrepreneurs and cars and he's like uh pick up heavy things put them down <laughs> that's it he's like listen guys pick up heavy things put them down <laughs> yeah all right, so we got a we got a good initial frame set. I'm gonna idle the engine up, you know, so it'll yeah, be warm. That's it. I'll, that's yeah, it. I'm gonna idle it up. So that's what I'm gonna be doing, and that way, you know, like I'm not starting like January one because you know, like people try to get through the month of January, most of them fall off the bandwagon by then. So, yeah, yeah, it's good timing. Time, good timing, beginning of the year. Plus, this is my Jesus year. I can't. I like. I'm not letting off the gas on this year. You know what I'm saying? Like, I gotta make it to 34 and just be like, yo, cheese, baby. What was Jesus' first miracle? First one, water. Man, water. I, really, more I'm, important than healing the blind. That's what he said. <laughs> I want everybody that's watching this video to see what they look like at ten percent body fat one time. Yeah, dude, seriously, that's like on my goal. Yeah, uh, I got down to like eight point nine. I think. Oh boy, that's starting to get danger zone right there. Well, that's miserable. It's 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 yeah. not. Really, well, I could have stayed there. But that's not drinking, and that's that's not doing, not really enjoying life. After ten percent is pretty miserable. You're, but it's pretty easy to stay at ten or eleven or twelve, eleven, thirteen, twelve, thirteen, something like that. That's yeah, that's good. there. That'd be a good. That'd be a good area. Yeah, you can get up a little bit during Christmas and Thanksgiving, and then it's like, hey, summer's coming. Let's go. Yeah, and you've yeah. got the You've got it. All you have to do is turn it on, right. and then you're. And then you're there and then everybody's like how do you do it <laughs> i don't know i made a youtube channel to show you guys yeah. all right so i'm gonna link to chris's channel yeah man i appreciate the conversation tonight chris thank you for your time absolutely anytime all right man all right guys i'm gonna link to his channel that is chris do the do the outro do it this is chris financial fitness financial fitness i'll see Woo. you <laughs> appreciate it later dude Peace.